Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through account pages in WooCommerce. These are the settings that dictate what certain slugs and so on will go where uh, when it comes to enabling customers to manage their accounts. The first option we can see is the My Account page and this is so when a person is logged in and they wish to view their account, uh, what page do they actually go to? Obviously using My Account is definitely uh, the default and for most people it's going to be the best option. There's really not a lot of purpose in redirecting someone who wants to see their account to the checkout cart shop or even a sample page which is just what we have in this current WordPress installation or any other WordPress page that you may have. It doesn't really make any sense to do that. After that you can see the my account endpoints. So as it notes these are appended page URLs to handle specific actions on the account pages. They absolutely have to be unique and it's my opinion that you don't need to change these. At the default values, they're all sensible, straightforward, and self-explanatory. But of course, if you did want to change these, it's really simple. You can just change them to whatever you like, so long as they are unique, and there won't be any overlap with any other pages or content at all on your WordPress website. So moving on from there, we come down to some registration options. The first three are for enabling registration. Now, as you can see, we've already got enable registration on the checkout page turned on. Makes sense to have that turned on there. But you can also turn on registration for the My Account page. I don't really think that makes a great deal of sense to turn on because ideally someone will already be registered if they're looking at that, but it's possible it could be a guest. So we'll leave turning that on up to you. And just below this, you can see display returning customer login reminder on the checkout page. It definitely makes sense to have It'll allow people or at least prompt people to log in and can hopefully make their checkout process a bit smoother and faster. And finally, we just have a couple of options for account creation. So as you can see here, when someone does go to register, their username will be generated from their email address. You can also automatically generate the customer password as well. Uh, that obviously won't really give people any power over what password they want until they come back to the site, log in and change it should they choose to do that. It also might mean that they may not do that and they might have to do a lost password reset request when they come back to the store. So we're gonna leave that one off for now. Hopefully it makes it a bit easier for the end user to use the website. Uh, and other than that, we're done. So we'll just hit save now, which brings us to the end of this video. We've just taken you through some of the account options for user accounts in WooCommerce. If you have any questions about what we've done in this video, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more.